What's up guys? Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming here and we are back with more Lego Indiana Jones The Original Adventures. This happens to be Chapter 3, City of Danger Story, which is really a tale about a man and his monkey. <laughs> You'll see what I'm talking about here in a second. We're going to shoot for that true adventurer of 50k. We fall a little short, but we do get that achievement for Bellux staff is too long. Now we're going to go ahead and jump into a quick cutscene and we'll see you on the other side. <laughs> Indy and Marion are off and running. We are in the city of danger, and we got to start off by grabbing one of these bananas. That's right. This is a little touchy. You can see I'm kind of hesitant on tossing this banana up to the old monkey, and eventually I get the target just right, and I nail it, and we actually get the wrench from him to go ahead and fix this elevator generator in the far left side. Now, if you miss that banana it takes forever to respawn which is why i was super hesitant on tossing that up there to begin with we're going to go ahead and have to do something very similar to that here again uh, as soon as we get through that doorway we're going to drop down the stairs and head to the left smash everything in sight and build up the ladder you can see there we've got something glowing that needs to be dug out we've got a whole bunch of bad guys coming to try and stop us from our plans here and we're gonna go ahead and take them out grab another banana and turf it up at the old monkey Woo to the who! We got a banana for you. He's gonna toss down a shovel, and we can get our dig on. That's right. We'll go ahead and dig up all these bits here. Which really, this is not necessary. I was actually <laughs> getting ahead of myself here. We need to dig up the handle for this lever. Go ahead and put that on there. Flip the switch. It takes the ladder upstairs, which gives us access with Marion to get up on this bouncer and grab this key that we need. Oh, don't forget the bluesy too. Now, there is a mini kit hiding inside there, but we will be back for all of those glorious, delicious mini kits when we play that free play. Go ahead and take that key over to the far left side, though. Kind of just, it's actually to the right side of where we came in, but to the left side of the area. Spin to win and remove one of two bars, preventing us from getting too far. <laughs> all right, I told you dad jokes were going to be a plenty in this one. We'll go ahead and move into the middle section here, kind of the top. Uh, we'll go ahead and push this giant carriage off to the left-hand side, which is going to give us access to get over to that key up high right. You can see there's a spot here for the super hops, which is the, the female version of the hoppers. We'll go ahead and jump out, grab that rope, drop down on that nice little ledge or awning, whatever you want to call it. And we can go ahead and grab some studage before picking up that key and heading right back to where we dropped that last one. And of course, we'll spin to win to remove that last bar, giving us access to the new area. This guy's got some pretty terrible swing in here. Come on, buddy, what are you doing? He's like patiently waiting to take out. Come on, come on. It's a lady. Treat a lady with respect. <laughs> or she'll, she'll knock your block off, right? Something like that. <laughs> All right, we're going to go ahead and go through the door. Once we get into this newly found area, we're going to head to the far right. There's actually a box that we're going to smash right in front of a couple of cork boards or billboards. Smash and build into what appears to be a push lever. We'll pull that lever, though, and we'll make our way down into that back alley. There was lots going on there, but we're going to go ahead and surpass that now and wait till free play to come, hit, come back and do all that. Now, there's a bunch of bad guys. I Okay, so as you guys know, I often do a trial run to make sure I know where everything is. I did that this time, and I ran by all of these bad guys. Bad idea. We got to the top, and they all followed. So there's uh, four from the first bunch, four from this bunch, and I believe there's four more that come down. And then I think there's four more at the top, perhaps. So there's at least 12, if not 16, bad guys. It was madness. Chaos ensued. We took them all out, and uh, we decided to go ahead and take them out group by group this time. So it looks like there was only 12, so three groups of four. We'll go ahead and jump to the very top, and we'll use Indy and his grappler to go ahead and rip down that bar, preventing us access from getting to that monkey. But on the far right side, we'll go ahead and grab another banana. 
And this one's kind of a funny angle. You want to make sure that, oh, see, I did it. You want to make sure that that blue marker is lined up and not moving over that monkey. We'll try it again. We'll go ahead and step up here now. Spoiler alert, I get it, but I messed this up too. Watch this. So I come down and I hit the button and it does it does like this weak toss. I mean, I don't mean to sound rude when I say this, but Marion, you kind of throw like a girl. <laughs> I know that's pretty pretty bad, but I'm just saying, right? It's kind of an old Anyway, moving along, we'll go ahead and we got to start this process all over again. Now, I thought about editing this out, but you guys know that every once in a while, Brian makes a mistake or two. Hmm. And sometimes it's fun for you guys to see that. I know that a lot of these videos show me going right to the point. I go from point A to point B to point C all the way to the end, and it looks like I am amazing at these games. But the truth be told, uh, a lot of it's due to editing or patience or replaying the level. So uh, in this particular case, I left that bad moment in, and you can see that I'm not as perfect as you may think. Some of you actually watch our live streams on Sundays. We've been streaming Lego stuff for quite a while now, and uh, it's not always as glorious as you might find. Uh, yeah, we're replaying some of the Lego games that we did not get a chance to either finish or maybe played a different version of them. Like, for example, Lego Harry Potter was on PS3, but also PS4, and they're two different games. Uh, well, they're the same game, but they have two different trophy lists, um, and that may prove true on the Xbox. I don't think they ever got a collection, though, on the Xbox, did they? Hmm. I'll have to look that up. Anyways, all right, we've uh, gone and pushed that green box. Uh, it's actually just a nice big six by two. Uh, we'll go ahead and push that back, open up, drop the ball down. Now, this next area here, this is a little sketchy. If you actually stand on those boards for too long, they collapse. Indy's making sure that they all fall down. And, uh, you know, I used some pretty good precision jumps and made it across there safely. Now, this is another one, too, that you could mess up. I actually tossed a banana up and ran over to that purple stud on the right during my trial run. And he throws the key down in the hole. And you got to get another banana and start all over. So make sure that you get that banana and toss it up there and get that key before getting that purple. Or get the purple before tossing the banana and getting that key. Now, I got a little button happy right here. I was trying to use my whip to whip it good over on that far side over there, but I accidentally hit it too soon, and it zapped me right back across the other way. Now, one thing I will say, so far, I'm enjoying the crap out of this game. It's been a delight. Not only do I love Indiana Jones, Lego, it's, it's just been fun to get back to a new Lego game that I've never played before. Whole new story, unlike some of the other stuff I've been playing lately, like, you know, Lego Star Wars 3. Uh, I had played a fair amount of that. So, anyways, it was nice to see a lot of the change and the good stuff. I played a new story. One thing I don't like, though, is how he creeps. If you put your back up against a wall and you tap it just right, he will slide kind of tiptoe like he's working stealth. And, and it's not the greatest because I get caught up all the time. But I'll get through it. I'll get gooder, as we like to say around here. All right, we'll go ahead and uh, get both of those green boxes slapped onto the gray plate there as that's going to give us the pieces needed to go ahead and build up this. I guess it's some sort of a can opener or door opener. We jump up and we pull it down. It rips the door open and we are out of there. So as we get to this new area, we're going to be attacked or greeted by some peoples. We'll go ahead and snag one of their hats. Some of these guys actually drop their caps. We're going to need that to go ahead and fool these guys. That's right. We're going to pull the old space balls. Fool you. Here it is right here, too. Knock, knock. It's me. Hello. Anybody home? He's like, oh, who are you? Okay. Oh, yeah, you look good. All right, we'll let you in. He opens the door, and as soon as he does, he realizes, wait a minute, you're not who we thought you were. And they all attack. Now I get all the way, yeah, I was going to say, to like the last guy or two, and then I get my block knocked off by these rocket launchers over here. Once they are all gone, go ahead and build up the front side of the truck here. You guys might remember this from the movie. There's sort of a cinematic scene where there's a, a big vehicle. Not quite the same as how we play it out here, but pretty similar. We'll go ahead and smash, bang, and boom. Get that truck back up and ready to zoom. We'll go ahead and hop in. A driver doesn't matter, but it looks like we've got uh, Marion, who's going to go ahead and take the wheel here. She busts through the gate, and I hit the wrong button. I tried to hit the turbo button, and it didn't turbo me. It actually launched me out of the car. So we'll go ahead and smash anything and everything in our sight, make our way over to the other door, smash through. We'll switch to Indy. And yeah, you thought I was going to leave that blue. Ha, ha, ha. That's actually it, guys. Final cutscene. See you on the phone. <laughs>
will say that is a mighty white suit you got on there, buddy. Hey, look at that. Bellek's staff is too long. Achievement achieved. We also completed the level and free play is on. Lock, 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 lock. Got a couple of different variants of our already existing characters. And we fell a little short of that true adventure status, but that is okay. We're getting pretty close to that 100,000 studage, which we will need sooner than later. But hey guys, that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for LEGO Indiana Jones Chapter 3, City of Danger. Hopefully you enjoyed this tale about a man and his monkey. <laughs> Alright guys, don't forget to check us out on social media. HappyThumbsGaming.com is available for your viewing pleasure as well. But for me, that is going to do it for now. As always, until next time...